All right, another day, another interview. I'm kind of tired today, I'm not gonna lie. But it's a beautiful Friday here in Tampa, Florida. As you can see, I'm on the water. You know, there's a lot of people out this weekend, so we're gonna see who we find. Y'all stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. All right, we got Jess here. How you doing, Jess? I'm good. How are awesome. you? I'm great. Thank you for letting me get this interview. Cool. No problem. Yeah, so um, are you from Tampa? No, I'm not. I'm actually originally from Ohio. From Ohio? Wow, I grew up in Ohio a little bit. Really? Yeah, yeah. You know where Westlake is? I do. Yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. not far from Lorraine. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's what's up. <laughs> this was meant to be. So um, I stopped you because of your hair, obviously. You know, it's really cool. Like, how long have you been growing it? Okay, so I have to say that it actually hasn't been that long. I skipped the process a little bit. So I have lock extensions. Okay. Um, so it's been almost a year. Yeah, a year, that okay. I've had it. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So um, what made you want to get dreadlocks? Um, honestly, I got tired of just my hair, to be honest, just like the day to day waking up and doing stuff to my hair um so i wanted something a little bit more natural and get up and go essentially so yeah yeah mm -hmm. so um there's like a huge misconception with some people that dreadlocks are dirty they smell people don't know how to take care of them so how do you maintain your hair honestly i go to the beautician so she maintains it for me yeah. <laughs> um that's one of the reasons why i chose to get locks because it's low maintenance i wouldn't consider them to be dirty because there are methods where you can do like um you know apple cider vinegar where you can you know detoxify your locks and stuff like that so i wouldn't consider them to be dirty it's just a different look yeah mm -hmm. are there any specific products that you use or your beautician um my beautician she uses natural oils yeah so like you know avocado oil different things of that nature cool. essential oils and stuff like that yeah all right cool mm -hmm. so um you know, in the workplace, you know, there could be a lot of discrimination when it comes to your appearance. So have you have you noticed any of that with your no, with your line of work? I haven't. Um, but I will say I got my locks after I was employed. So I can't really speak to that because I wasn't really, you know, like I said, I didn't have the locks when I first started my job. So, yeah. OK. And you don't get any weird looks or anything? Is it, is it all positive? No. I've had a lot of compliments. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. That's actually what I hear because a lot of people, I think in the past there was a lot of, you know, negativity attached to, well, there was like a stigma attached to dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, it's 2021. So they seem to be more accepted. So that's, that's good. I wouldn't even say that the stigma is completely gone, but um, we're making progress. Let's say yeah. that. Yeah. 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 That's good. Um, so what did you have any influences uh, in terms of celebrities or or family members that you saw with locks growing up? Um, I wouldn't say growing up, but I did have some some really good friends that wanted to go on the lock journey with me. So it was something that we did together. Um, but there are celebrities like um, Chloe. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Their locks are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So. Um, when it comes to dreadlocks and different forms of getting them, like free form or twisted, whatever, you know, people have different attachment to them and some are connected to spirituality, some just aesthetic. So what does your hair mean to you? It's a sense of freeness for me. I, you know, like I said, like personally, I did it because I wanted to not really be confined by just like having to do my hair essentially like oh what am I going to do to my hair next I took out this protective style because I did a lot of protective styles before I transitioned into having locks for me it's just more a sense of freeness and just being one with myself a little bit more mm. Mm. that's a good answer <laughs> so you said your friends uh, went on the lock journey with you are they still with you they're yeah. still with you on there yeah okay that's what's up so um in Tampa, you know, I seem I see a lot of diversity when it comes to hairstyles. Do you feel the same way? Um, I guess it depends on the crowd or the areas that where you're, you know, seeing it. I can't really say that I see a lot of diversity. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think I see a lot, but I will say um, I know it's like the Kodak Black style i can't remember the, the wicks. name the wicks yeah, yeah, yeah. that's definitely a thing that you know I, i'm not really used to so 
I would say that's the biggest thing that I've had to come around to seeing yeah. as far as diversity goes. That's like more down south. Like yeah. the further down south you go, the more wicks you're going to see. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So how long do you see yourself having this hairstyle? I don't know. I'm just taking it one day at a time, to be honest. You know, honestly, um, I could at one point just decide just to cut my hair all the way off. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm on this journey where I just want to be free. I don't want to necessarily you know, have any pressure when it comes to my hair, but I'm just taking it one day at a time. Yeah. So I saw this crazy interview and I think it was with GQ and they gathered a bunch of women uh, and they were talking about dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the topic was just men's hair. And um, a lot of them were saying that dreadlocks were feminine and that they don't look right on men. How do you feel about that? I, I have to beg to differ because um, my boyfriend, when I started dating him, he had locks. And it's just, for me personally, I feel like you have a nice little lineup, you're good to go, have your hair, you know, all that. I don't really feel like you, you, it makes you look feminine. It's just all about the way you carry yourself and the swagger, essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah facts. So you say your boyfriend has locks. So um, how he has- had locks. Oh, he had locks. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So how has your dating life been since you have this new hairstyle, you know? Because a lot of people, you know, if they're single, they might find it harder to attract somebody um, if they if they now have dreadlocks, you know? Depending on where they live, you know? But um, how has it been for you? Have you noticed any difference? Um, he likes it. And like, I'm not in the dating scene anymore because, you know, I'm taken, but honestly, you know, regardless of me being in a relationship or not, I still get compliments on my hair. Uh, I feel like I actually get more compliments because I feel like in the world that we're in now, men appreciate women that are a little bit more natural, essentially. So I feel like I get, I'm getting more, more compliments than I did before. Yeah. yeah. So you said you have lock extensions. So, mm -hmm. so you had, you had locks mm -hmm. at first, and then you just made them longer. Yes. Is that how? Okay. I was just a little confused mm -hmm. because you know a lot of people get faux locks, mm -hmm. and they look a certain way. So. I was just, I wasn't sure, you know, yeah. your, your method. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm being completely transparent. Yeah, know. absolutely. I um, appreciate that. Yeah, That's of course. What's up. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is your first set of locks. Mm hmm Okay. So being it a year, is that what you said, a year? Yes. Um, you, you have some experience under your belt. What is some advice that you would give to somebody that, that wants to lock their hair up and doesn't know how to approach the journey? Hmm, that's a good question. I would say definitely do a lot of research. That's what I did. I, I Googled and I YouTubed a lot of things. Um, there's a lot of locticians and stuff in the community as well. So I would definitely say um, seek advice from a professional, for sure. Um, and then just do it. It's just hair. Yeah, I hear you. So if you don't mind me asking, how old are you, Jess? I am 30. 30 years old, that's what's up. So <laughs> 30 years, you're, I'm sure you're very wise. Can you leave me with some words of wisdom? Um, with the pressure. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> Speak your mind. Um, I, it's kind of cliche, but I would say um, appreciate, appreciate life. You only have one life, yeah. Hey, you heard it here, y'all. Thank you so much, Jess. No problem.